Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Wongi Lengosi and today we'll be trying to grow a guava tree from a guava. A friend of mine had brought me those guavas. So I just decided to keep one and try to grow the tree. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it will grow. So I'll be cutting it off and putting it into the soil. Hi guys, today I will be giving you guys an update on how my guava tree is doing. It's been like what, nine months since I had propagated the guava trees from a guava that a friend had given me. He has some guava trees at his place, so he had given me some guavas, so I decided to take one out of those guavas and uh, propagate it and see what happened so it did germinate but i never updated you guys when everything has germinated but i'm just gonna show you guys how the tree is doing currently here's the guava tree guys actually i had if you remember guys i had two pots the other one ne ne it never germinated and this one i had quite a lot of trees that had germinated but then we had frost we had frost then some died so i'm remaining with like four trees four trees so now that it's raining i think i'm, I'm gonna transplant it into the ground but definitely not today some other day i just wanted i just wanted to come in here and update you look at this those four trees are quite healthy but i'm thinking what i'm going to do first is to transplant it to different pots let it grow a little bit bigger then put it directly into the ground an update on the guava trees the sun has have been burning the leaves up a little bit more but today what i'm going to do is to transplant the trees i'm going to put one into the ground and the other two oh i actually have four i thought i have three <laughs> okay the other three i'm going to put in separate pots that way i want to see how each tree would be faring hopefully none will die <laughs> so let's see how that goes Just look at the roots, guys. These trees are green rather well. Oh, 
try to disturb the trees as little as possible, but cannot be hot. Not to separate the roots. Hi guys, hi guys, it's each January, it's been a few months since I had started the guava trees, so I wanted to come in and um, give you guys an update of what's happening currently, so <laughs> it's not good, really good news, my guava trees had germinated and I had transplanted, but afterwards they died so let me show you guys how they are looking this is how my guava tree i was still very much hopeful but it looks like it's not that thing's gonna happen look at them all three of them died like they died so i had planted the other one here you can't even see it now you can't even see it died immediately after transplant guys so the reason i wanted to still show you even though the trees had died is to show you guys that not everything goes well in the garden there are some wins and there are some losses which is actually okay it happens <laughs> yeah so i'm thinking i'm going to is either i'm going to buy a guava tree or i'm going to restart all over again the process was uh, long and for the trees to die like that because i had more than one tree but they all died not even one survived so <laughs> It is what it is. I just wanted to show you guys that, yeah, there are times when you don't succeed in cutting. You should expect that, but that shouldn't discourage you. You should try, keep on trying until you succeed. So, guys, that's it for this video. If you like this kind of content, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up below, and leave a comment. See you guys on my next video. Bye!